Hey everyone, my name is Grace Wells and welcome to Adobe's YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this dissolving background transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. This transition is so simple to execute and when it's used effectively, it can be a really seamless way to move your narrative from one location to another. So essentially the way this transition works is your subject remains the same throughout the course of the entire shot, but your background dissolves into a new background. So first you're gonna need a shot of your subject and in order to change the background and create this transition, you're gonna to need to isolate that subject from the background. So here's the clip that I'm gonna be using today, which is from my latest random commercial on TikTok, a commercial for a rock. And when I filmed this clip, I actually did not know that I was gonna be using this transition here. It was only when I played it back later that I just thought, wow, this would really benefit from a transition. But I would recommend if you're going into this and you know you're gonna be doing this transition, film your clip on a green or a blue screen. It's just gonna save you a lot of trouble in editing. So first things first, I'm gonna show you how to remove your green screen background, just in case you don't know how to do it already. Or in this case, I'm gonna be removing our black background. I've I've actually put a red shape layer underneath my video clip here only because once I remove this black background, it would just be black underneath and we would not be able to tell if we did a very good job. Um, so the red is just gonna show us what parts of the background we've removed, make it a little bit easier just to see what's going on. Um, so go into your effects panel and just type in color key in that search bar. And then you can drag the color key onto the clip where you're trying to isolate the subject. You're gonna see this little color key pop up in your effect controls. Hit that little dropper there and select the color that you're trying to remove. In this case, it's black. Once that color is selected, Adobe Premiere Pro is going to do its best to clean up that backdrop, get rid of that color. Um, but there's always gonna be some cleaning up that we have to do just because in order to have absolutely perfect color key, you would have to have incredibly even lighting. Um, and you know, we're all human. It's sometimes hard to get that perfectly even lighting. So there's always gonna be little bits and pieces um, that need a little touch up. So as you can see, we do have a little bit of black still showing up in the middle. In order to fix that, go over to color tolerance and just bump that up. You don't wanna get rid of too much, especially if you're working with a color that's present in your subject, um, just because it's gonna start to eat away at your subject. So find a good sweet spot. And then once you've got it in a place where it looks relatively clean and you're pretty happy with it, um, you might wanna consider going into edge thin to thin out the edges or edge feather to soften up the edges. In this case, I'm not sure if we have to thin the edges. I think it looks pretty good, but I am going to soften them a little bit just to get rid of some of these jagged pixels. So that is looking pretty good. As you can see, if we did not have that red behind there, it would look pretty much exactly like it did before. So that's why I had to put that red under there. But obviously if you're working with a green screen, it will be a lot more apparent whether you've successfully color keyed out that green. All right, so we've got our isolated subject. Now it's time for the fun part, which is transitioning our background. And my vision for this particular clip in this video was to transition from the black studio background that I had been using throughout the entire course of the video to this blue background that was supposed to represent a blue sky. So I shot a clip of my clean blue backdrop, which I'm gonna to use to transition to here. And this is gonna be a particularly simple transition because I'm basically just transitioning from no backdrop, which is gonna render as a black backdrop to my blue backdrop. So I'm just gonna drag in my blue backdrop here around halfway through where I want it to transition in. And as you can see, if we play it through right now as is, it's gonna have this kind of match cut feel where the backdrop just cuts from black to blue. This might work for you. If you want more of an abrupt cut than a dissolve, by all means, work with this, play with this. I personally want a more seamless, smooth transition, so I'm gonna add a cross dissolve here. So I'm gonna go into the effects panel again and search for cross dissolve. Gonna drag that here. Now that I've got my dissolve in there, as I'm playing this through, I'm realizing that I do wanna bring the blue backdrop in a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna drag it forward a little bit in my timeline. I do really like it, but I just wanna make the cross dissolve a little bit longer. So I'm gonna double click on the cross dissolve. It'll come up with this transition duration. I'm just gonna make this a couple of frames longer. And now when we play it all the way through, we see that our subject stays the same and our background transitions from black to blue. Now, obviously the backgrounds from this particular rock video were super simple, but you can definitely get a lot more creative with this in terms of your backgrounds. I'm gonna show you one more example of how I might do this effect with some stock footage as backgrounds. So here I have a stock footage clip of some mountains, and here I have another one of a beach. I've just chosen these two clips to give you an example of how to transport your narrative to a totally different location. But the one thing I will say when you're choosing stock footage clips is just make sure the lighting is consistent with the subject. Um, so if I were to bring in a stock footage clip of a sunset, for example, here, it would look really strange because my subject is front lit, um, it's very bright lighting, whereas a sunset you would expect it to be backlit and have really warm lighting. Um, so it would definitely look kind of weird to have those two juxtaposed against each other. Just try to keep the lighting consistent. It's gonna 
look a lot more natural. So just like before, I'm gonna drag this mountain clip underneath to serve as my backdrop. Probably gonna cut it around halfway through. Then I'm gonna drag in my second clip. When you do drag it in, make sure you start somewhere in the middle. Um, that way you have frames to grab from the beginning to create that dissolve. Otherwise, it's not gonna allow you to do a dissolve. So choose a section kind of towards the middle for your second backdrop. Pop that in there. Put in your cross dissolve. You can see my color key isn't perfect, but again, if you did this on a green screen, it would look a little bit better. <laughs> So there we go, it's transitioning from a mountainous lake to a beach, which I think is pretty freaking cool. This is why I love Adobe Premiere Pro. In a really short amount of time, just a couple minutes, I've been able to transition my rock across continents. I can't even imagine all the fun, unique ways that this effect could be used within a narrative to really make it stand out. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this from Adobe. And if you wanna find me on social media, my handle is at GraceWellsPhoto on TikTok and Instagram, and I am GraceWells here on YouTube. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.